Greetings YouTubers, so today I'm going to be reviewing Chinese Zodiac minifigures by Joe Ledbetter. These were about 2-3 to three inches tall, they're finally out, um, they was delayed due to issues with them. So these are supposed to be the best quality you can get as far as I'm concerned, being with the delays and all that. So I've got two here, I've got the rabbit and the dragon. Uh, let's look at the dragon one first. Box, so it's a window display with the figure itself. To me, kind of a waste of packaging. Look how small that toy is. Look how big the box is. It's just absurd that they did it like this. I don't, it makes no sense. Anyway, front of the box, the side. On the back, you can see all the different ones. You've got rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, pig, rat, ox, and tiger. On the other side, and on the bottom, you've just got all your warnings about safety all those gubbins so yeah the stupidly sized box let's get this out and re-raise the camera back in a second okay so we're back and now you can truly see the waste of this packaging there's the figure and there's like half a bunch of plastic which is just absurd in my eyes um you know they could have just gone for the simple you know like the androids and the dunnies are just a simple box that could have worked, but no. They went for all this packaging for a three inch figure that's about nine pound in the UK. So, here's the first one. I will get critical because as far as I'm concerned, the delay was to make these the best they can be. And here it is. So that's the front side. Um, these are terrible. Can you see the joint? The obvious bloody joint. And I don't know if I can, there you go. There's like chips in that joint right there. And these are meant to be like quality control or whatever. So that's a bit crap. Yeah, I can see glue there as well. Anyway, that's the back of the figure. On the bottom, just says J Led, J Led better. And on the face, you know what? This is just the gift that keeps on in giving. Sorry, to, I'm trying not to swear, but if you look here, there's actually a blemish. That's not meant to be. It's supposed to be a black line. Then the greens. That's pinks and god knows what um got to see if the camera can pick that up and i'm not purposely trying to be critical i'm honestly giving you my genuine feedback bearing in mind these were delayed because of the quality and now they've been released the quality is still shoddy um i, I wouldn't expect this from joe led but and sorry about that junker anyway so the face um again there's your obvious blemish that i was talking about I'm trying to keep this in focus um, yeah, there's all damage on the face here. It's really, really hard to get on camera. As you can see in the black line, there's a bit missing. Um, on the head, it just genuinely looks dirty. And I honestly don't know if my camera's going to pick this up or not. So, they just look dirty and, like, some of the lines are just wrong. Uh, there you go. That line's just unfinished. And it's like a loose grey instead of the full black. Uh, the head articulates, by the way. But that was quite stiff, and as soon as I nudged it, it's really loose now. Which isn't too bad, and, you know, you go right around. There's chewing in the ear. The camera can pick that out, thank God. Look at that. I genuinely wouldn't expect this from a J-Led piece, to be honest. I've heard about the quality of his pieces, and I'm quite frankly ashamed that this has happened. And I don't think it's J-Led's fault. I genuinely think this is the company. Um, on Under the head is where it just keeps on giving. I'm going to try and get this, because under the head, really massive joint that sticks out. They haven't tried to like cover that up at all. And all the painting's just half-arsed and 
it's yellow for a start, as you can see, and not the green that the body is. So that's the dragon, and quite frankly, it's shit. So for nine pounds, you can have a poorly painted six inch dragon. Let's see if the rabbit can be redeemed. God. By the way, what company made these? Uh, play imaginative. Shout out to play imaginative. Your painters are shit. Anyway, the rabbit. The rabbit looks better. Yeah, the rabbit looks a whole lot better, to be honest. So I don't know if I've just got a really dud dragon. Which has pissed me off a bit because I wanted the dragon the most. Um, my birthday's in November. And that's why I got the dragon. So, you know, hey-ho. Here's the dragon on the front. The sides. The back. And the sides. And again, that really tight head that as soon as you loosen is ridiculously loose. Uh, okay, we found a paint error. This side, nice and brown, fits in. This side, uh, what the hell's going on there? That's not right. So there's some blemishes for you. And bearing in mind, these were delayed for the quality. I'm going to keep repeating that because we've, people have pre-ordered these in like, was it February or March? when these were announced and the hype was pre-ordering because they're going to sell out and you'll never see them again. So everyone went and pre-ordered them and you wait all this time and you get them and the quality is shit. Sorry to keep swearing but I'm really annoyed about this. Um, the head seems fine. On the bottom again, Joe Led. 2011. They just feel cheap. Which I don't, I don't, you know, look at the back of the foot. This one, Straight black line, the brown. This one, there's some paint missing here. And I really wish the camera could pick this up because it just looks like a brush mark. Kind of like a brush mark where they've seen it and they've tried to go over it and it's kind of ballsed up. And these are just straight out of the box from the courier. And from, uh, I got mine from Tenacious Toys. So Tenacious Toys have unboxed theirs straight away it's not nothing to do with them as far as i'm concerned this is to do with play imaginative the figure itself looks absolutely fantastic though i'm, I'm just devastated that uh, for a joe led piece the quality is so shitty because all you ever hear about his pieces are the quality and stuff like that it's just top notch and two pieces here i mean it's not like i've got one piece and it's one out of a whole box of these. I've got two here. This one's got a couple of mistakes on it. Not as bad as the dragon, granted. But, you know, I, ju I just would not expect this from Joe Ledbetter. And play imaginative. I, do I don't know if I own any toys of theirs. I've never really looked at boxes. I normally just go for what I like and unbox, play, review, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah. This one is just fucking terrible. Just put the drag, I mean look, two marks on that. Now there's some factory work just got a bit, you know, stressy and decided to chew on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, these do look really, really, really cool. But, there are blemishes on these. So, my answer to you, if you are interested in buying a Joe Ledbetter Chinese Zodiac figure is get the box when you go get these in store say look in this mirror and look at the quality this is probably why they gave you a ginormous whacking box but it's a window display because they knew that people want to see the quality because they knew that half of it was going to be shoddy Joe Ledbetter Zodiac figures people my first Joe Led piece and the quality is shite there we are they're about £9 in the UK um, obviously I paid about, uh, was it about £14 each summer? Because I got these back in like 15 AD from America because the hype was ridiculous. So, yeah, there you go guys. I wish I could say something nice apart from, you know, they look cool. The dragon looks amazing. 
But then you pick it up and you look at the quality of it and you're like, ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go, guys. That's the Dread Ledge Better Zodiac figures. In my opinion, I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. Save your money and try and get some from the ones that have previously been released. Uh, Kid Robot Forums, some people sell them quite cheap. Yeah. If you can find ones with good quality control, get them. If they've got blemishes and stuff, just avoid them. Like the plague. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to rate the video. Feel free to share. Check out my Facebook page, Designer Toys UK. Capital D, capital T, and UK, I believe. And I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.